Welcome back everybody, it's Iowa with Ivo Play, and we have a lot of information about the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S, price points, financing, but first I'm gonna go over the world premiere reveal of the Xbox Series X. Gonna watch the video, give you a reaction, and then I'll give you more information on pricing and what exactly is going on with pre-orders and when these systems will be available. Let's get into it. Let's go. Here we go. Ooh. What is that? Is that milk or paint? Let me hear you. Are you ready for the brand new day? What? It looks like a little speaker box. Oh my gosh, compared to that controller, that looks tiny. Can fit two or more into a regular Xbox? SSD, fast load time, seamless game switching, next gen performance, all digital gaming experience. Next gen frame rates, up to 120 frames per second. It looks like a speaker. Better with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Play over a hundred high quality games. Optimized for next gen. These games play like this on the new system. That looks pretty good. All digital, 1440p. 512 gigabyte SSD, 4K streaming. Where's the price? All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got to go back and pause this screen. Way too much information going way too quick. All digital, 1440p at up to 120 frames per second. So that is better than a 1080p. Yeah, that's like a 2K, not a 4K. DirectX ray tracing, so that's cool. Variable rate shading, variable refresh rate, ultra low latency, custom 512 gigabyte SSD, 4K streaming, media playback, 4K, upscaling four games. November 10th. November 10th. Today is September 9th, October, November. Two months and one day, if you pre-order this, you will have it in your hands playing potentially on November 10th. That's amazing. This box looks really cool, looks really awesome. I can give you the great news and that this is only going to be $299. Only $299 for a next-gen console that goes to 2K graphics. That's power that's probably better than the newest Xbox One at a price point of just $299. But there's also going to be financing involved. You can finance this. Instead of paying all the money up front, you can finance it for a monthly charge of $25 a month for two years you get the $299 Xbox S and you also get two years of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate where you can play all those 100 games and have access to all those titles and not have to buy any games out of the box on day one and still have all that playability in your hands for just the one payment of $25. That's pretty cool. Overall, I did the math on it. Over a period of two years, it's $600 total. If you were to do the current Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and Xbox Series for $299, you would actually pay $660 over two years. So you actually save $60 plus, you get to spread the payments up over two years. That's really cool. For those of you that can't afford it all up front, but still have the ability to finance it like that, that's a huge win-win. But let's talk about the rest of this. The Xbox Series X has also came out with their pricing and their financing. The price for the new Xbox Series X will be $499. Or you can finance it for $35 a month for two years. Do the math on that. It's $840 that you'll spend over a period of two years 
normally would cost you $860 to buy the Xbox Series X and the Ultimate Game Pass. Combined, you save $20 but you get to spread that out for two years at just $35 a month and not have to pay some big fee right up front. They have the brand new 4K, run some titles at 8K, Xbox Series X. Supposedly no load times, easy game switching, 4K game play. That's awesome. I don't know very many great exclusive for games, so I think that the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate plays into the hands of the Xbox very, very well, coming right out of the gate. The pre-order date, which most people want to know so they can get their hands on one if they're one of the first pre-orders because these things typically sell out fast. The pre-orders begin on September 22nd, just 13 days from today less than two weeks you can do your pre-order xbox series s or the xbox series x and lock in your ability to get one of those systems on or around november 10th the ultimate question that i have is how is sony with the playstation 5 going to respond to all this information they've yet to release their pricing are they going to match the pricing are they going to beat the pricing I know that Sony has an all digital unit and then also the Sony PS5, I believe two different units, at least that's the rumors of what they have coming out to compete with the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S. I would expect that information to come out soon before the pre-orders start happening for the Xbox so they don't get behind. I'm super curious, I'm very excited to await that information, but hey everybody, that is the Xbox Series S reveal. You got the eye reaction. If you're serious about gaming, you needed to hear this. I hope this helped you a little bit with your decision. Please like this video so more people can see it. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed already for a heck of a lot more fun. Take it easy, everybody. And we will see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.